Okay, always more repair sh sh stuff <laughs> on these old cars. 72, the front uh, hood fascia is, looks like cast pot metal, it's not magnetic. But as you can see, stuff gets old and these little fakey cast in screws are broken off, stripped, or just totally gone. So, Time for repair job, so this is what it looks like before, and off to work we go. Okay, step two is um, we've I just used uh, side cutters and snipped off the uh, what was left of these posts as close as I could, and then I used a burr and ground them down oh, out of focus all the way flat, and then I used a center punch and I center punched. All of these little where the posts used to go. And next will be drilling holes. Okay, all seven holes are drilled with a 964th drill because I'm replacing these guys with counter suck machine screws, which are number sixes. So they fit in there just right. And uh, now to the next step. Okay, we get to our next step now. I've used a, I've carefully used a half inch drill to countersink these holes. Now these are our countersunk number six screws out of focus. Um, now what I've done is I've just put two flats on. You only really need to do one, but I do two because I can. They don't have to be parallel or anything, just flats because they're going to slide right in like that. And, uh, I don't want to go too far usually, so I, these are standing just a little bit proud, which is not a problem, because that'll be, be able to fix in the next couple of steps. So um, that's it. And these are right uh, three quarter inch. Uh, they might be too long, but I didn't want them to be too short. So uh, now we got the bolts set right and the countersink set right. So just be real careful with this. Don't go too far and uh, you'll be good to go. Okay, now we've got to our next step. Uh, I don't have enough hands, so I had to do this. I'll just have to describe it to you. It's pretty simple now. I've used JB Quick Weld forever, so and it sets in five minutes, so you have to be really quick. So I have to, I've been using it long enough, I can do it, but um, I did all seven at once. Yeah, but you have to be quick. If you haven't used it before, just mix it up to do one or two. It's pretty simple. I just I went ahead and put all the screws through the holes. And then when I got ready to do it, I just used a cut off a Q-tip to use an end of that. I pushed the screw up just a little bit through the hole. Got the JB weld underneath the screw head and pulled it down and just did it one by one by one. And uh, then I went back just to make sure. Come on, focus up. Too much machine work going on in here. It's a mess. Um, made sure they were square this way and square this way, all of them. And uh, until it's set up, which again just takes a few minutes. So got that. Now next is going to be the finishing, which isn't any big deal, but I'll show you how that works. But uh, these guys are all glued in with uh, JB Weld. And yes, of course, if <laughs> guys out there going, what about the paint? Yes, it's going to have to be repainted. That's just all there is to it. But uh, you only have to do this once. So, all right, that's our next step. Got to let this stuff dry all the way. It takes, a, you know, it hardens in five minutes, but it takes a little while for it to totally harden. So just focus, will you? All right, there we go. That's the next step here. Okay, now we're working on cleanup. Uh, I don't, again, still don't have enough hands. Uh, this uh, hood fascia just has a ton of paint on it, so it's not a big deal, but uh, I'm using a flapper disc to clean it off just because um, it's quick and it's got a lot of paint on it, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna be pulling most of the paint off anyway. Uh, when you do it, as you can see, there's gonna you're gonna pull a little bit of the head off too. That's not a big deal. Um, like I said, they were, I make it so it stands a little bit proud, so you have a little bit metal down there. But with the two flat sides on there, it's all locked in. Uh, it's gonna take a little body filler to 
fill everything up real nice and uh, that's about it for this this section real simple just uh, be careful and go slow alrighty using my flipper I uh, flattened everything out you got a JB weld and the screw heads pull all the paint off the top pull the majority off the front and the edge here uh, that's not a huge deal I just wanted to get that thickness off the front so we've got these guys here so now I'm gonna do just a little cleanup uh, for the bolt heads and then we're ready for um, primer and now to the next step uh, what I've done is I just used regular one part uh, glazing putty for this because it's just minor imperfections and then all this whole thing I just did uh, block sanded it with uh, 220 and so got everything smoothed down now you can't really visualize until you get some primer on it how everything is going to look it might be a little touch up afterwards even when you sand it with a block sometimes it's just not flat so I'm going to hit the uh, primer filler now and we'll see what it looks like and see if we have any more touch up to do. I pulled the whole lot of the yellow off. You don't have to pull all the old paint off. Uh, if it's not flaking, it's never coming off. So uh, I, they had a lot on there, so I took a lot off. So, all right, now it's primer time. And the so called finale. Look, better than new. Real mounting screws. Cannot tell. I took a little bit of a uh, glazing putty and a couple of coats of primer, but she's looking good. And uh, now she goes. <laughs> now I can bolt her on. So that's if you want to do it yourself, like I like to do. So hope this helps somebody.